Hey, what's going on? My name is Joe Bacall. This is Throwing It Sideways. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Leave me some comments. But what I'm talking about on this channel is all automotive from an industry insight, from stunt driving to racing to product testing and reviews. We're going to talk about it. Click that seatbelt because we're going for a ride. So we're here talking tires, and tires can be super hard to figure out which ones to buy. But we're talking ratings. When you go online, you look at all the different manufacturer pages, you look at your dealers, you know, there's just so much information to figure out what works for you and, and how do you decipher the terminology. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that. I'm gonna go through a couple web pages. We're gonna slow it down, explain what's going on, what works, what doesn't work. And there's also a few surprises that surprised me when looking to buy tires. So let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and check out these websites from these tire companies. I think it's interesting um, how different they are um, in the fact that they, they do, some do show you uh, data when it comes to evaluation and kind of ratings and things like that, and others just don't. They just kind of give you a little bit of a, some basic information of the tire. So let's jump right in. We're gonna jump into uh, our Yokohama tire first. Um, let's just see what they what they've got to offer. We go to their website, and um, I want to see some tires here. So let's go to tire category. We're going to go into we're going to check some all terrain tires. We'll go to trucks, and there's a pretty sweet Raptor right there. But we're going to scroll down to the let's go to the to the uh, Geo One Five All Terrain Geo Lander. Okay, it's a really good tire, but I want to just show you if you click on this, what actually comes up? First thing is obviously their, their kind of heading page and the fact that it shows their tire, but what I'm looking for is this right down here. I'm looking for some information on how the vehicle, or how this tire performs in different categories. Well, as you can see, they talk about all season traction, long tread life, you know, off-road durability, things like that. Uh, a little bit vague to me. I'd like to see a little bit more from a rating side. Um, or just more of a breakdown of, of what this tire really has to offer. Um, they do get into more detail when you, when you do scroll over the top of these, you know, and talking about a little bit more information. But at the end of the day, uh, let's see how this compares to the next tire. So we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna get out of this Yokohama tire website and we're gonna jump into, let's go to Toyo tire. So Toyo Tires, another good brand, but let's just kind of see what they show when it comes to evaluation and kind of just more, more data that I'm looking for that I can't, uh, I can't seem to find on every tire company's website. So let's go find tires. Here's their, uh, their main page. We're gonna go, uh, let's go, I don't know, let's go light truck, trying to get some more all-terrain just to make it consistent. Scroll down to the, the new all-terrain. This, this is their new Open Country AT3. Um, they've got, obviously, the, the stars saying that uh, it's a pretty good tire. Um, but let's click on that, and let's see what it says. Okay, brings up the, the uh, Open Country um, all-terrain AT3 here. So, again, I need some more information. I want to see you know, what it has to offer. Okay. So scrolling down, performance ratings, this is what I'm talking about. Um, you know, how do they compare to similar tires? Well, they've got tread life, winter, you know, handling performance, wet handling. I mean, this is, this is exactly the stuff that I think is super important when purchasing a tire. They also have a rating scale from one to five. So they're saying, you know, tread life is a five. So it's obviously you got a really good tread life if that's what you're looking for. And you got to keep in mind, you're, when you buy an all-terrain or any tire, what are you going to use it for? How is it, you know, where are you going to go? Um, and these are all the, the questions that you need to ask yourself before you just go ahead and buy a tire that the dealer says, oh, this is a good tire and it's on sale or whatever. Do your homework, go to these websites, but check this out, you know, winter handling, five, you know, it's got a five. That means it does really well in the snow. 
Um, so this is the this type of information would be information they would get from a test driver like myself, and they would take that information and they're going to go ahead and share it with you. I like the fact that they also have some features and benefits in the fact that they highlight areas of this new tire um, from a compound design standpoint. Um, so these are things to look at. You know, do you need a lot more information? Um, it, it's really up to you. But this is the kind of thing that I like to see. So let's go to the next tire. So the next tire we're going to go into is going to be a, uh, let's go to Goodyear. Goodyear seems to make some, some good tires. Uh, let's see here. Goodyear tires. Let's check it out. All right. So going into the Goodyear tire website, here's their tire website. Well, let's see if I can find an all-terrain just to make it consistent. Um, browse all tires. Let's see. And um, what are we looking for here? Let's go to the Wrangler tire. And hopefully, yep, I want to go down to the dirt track. Where's the dirt track? Give me... Here we go. Okay, so here's another comparison. So they've got obviously, uh, you know, they've got their star ratings with reviews. They talk about, you know, a little bit of all season, you know, three peak snowflake. So that this is before I even click on it, that's what you're getting. Let's click on that dirt track tire. What does it tell me? Again, all season winter, but it doesn't tell me a whole lot there. It talks a little bit. I mean, this is super brief on what this tire is about, right? I mean, that's, a, that's as short as I've seen on any tire. Not a lot of information, um, but let's scroll down. Maybe there's more. Okay, so we got features, okay? Well, features in, we got enhanced traction, the ride's quiet. I mean, this is really basic um, to the point where there's really no other information. Yeah, they have some uh, reviews and ratings down here, but this is, this is I'm gonna say it's pretty, pretty basic in the fact that uh, if you compare this to the Toyo that we just looked at, it's almost night and day when it comes to, to data, uh, especially coming from a test driver standpoint, what, you know, what to look for. So this is good. So let's carry on to the next tire. And we're gonna go ahead and, and try, um, let's try Falcon. Falcon's a pretty good tire. Um, pretty impressed with those guys. And uh, let's do all terrain again, just to make it consistent. Uh, let's see if I can find their Falcon tires. That's global. I don't want global. Let's maybe this is it here. Let's see. That is definitely not it. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, Falcon tire. Maybe if I take off. The, let's see here. Come on, guys. Here we go. Falcon tire. Okay. So here's their website. You know, all the websites look pretty good in the fact that they've got a lot going on. They show some pretty cool animation and all that. But let's find, uh, let's find a tire. Uh, let's find the all-terrain. Light truck's going to get me to where I need to go. And there it is, the Wild Peak AT3. This is a really good tire. Um, but at the end of the day, clicked on the AT3. Here's the information. So a little bit more than Goodyear. But... Uh, um, talks about the three peak snowflake, uh, you know, rating, um, you know, the different types of things that it offers. Let's keep going down. Okay. And here it is. This is what I'm talking about once again. So this is another tire company that has added evaluation data. You've got dry handling, you know, you've got wet braking again, looks like a one to five rating. This is, this is good stuff. You start to compare these to the other, other tires that you're interested in buying. And you start to be able, to, you're able to pull that data out and start to see the differences without even, you know, driving it. Um, this is information again that is that is um, given to them from a, you know, a, a test driver. This is the test driver data that they that they published, and uh, it talks about how, you know, the quiet ride, things like that, off road. So it is good. There's that's exactly what I'm looking for in the fact that they do give you more information. They start getting into more detail about the tire. So. This is, this is exactly what I think every tire company should, should offer on their sites. Um, and it gives you more, uh, just more power to, 
to see differences between them. Let's get into consumer reports. I'm sure a lot of you guys have, have seen have seen and heard of consumer reports. And uh, you know, I'm a pretty big fan. I think they do a pretty good job uh, in the fact that you know they're really unbiased. Uh, at least uh, that's my my feeling. And uh, uh, let's see, let's see if I can navigate my way around here. Um, I'm gonna click on this. I'm not sure where it's gonna get me, but I just, I'm just basically showing you that Consumer Reports does tire testing. They actually have a, a pretty decent test track, um, and uh, you know they have, they have data that they that they do just like everyone else, and uh, it's it's really good information. The only downside of, of Consumer Reports is you got to pay for, pay for it being a member, um, but the upside is that the information's really pretty good normally. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to to navigate through here because I'm not a member, but uh, oh, this is good. So get ratings, reviews for products that you want. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, they get into dry braking, wet braking. So these are the categories, you know, that us as test drivers, you know, we, we feed them this information. They, they go ahead and post it. Um, and so if you're looking at a particular tire like this Falcon or, or this Continental, you could click on that and it's gonna give you a really good breakdown of, uh, of that tire, maybe even how it compared to some of the competitors. Um, gives you a pretty good buying power and the fact that you kinda know going into a dealer what to, what to get, you know, what's out there. Okay, so we're at the Discount Tire website. I'm gonna kinda jump in here, let's hit tires. We're gonna go to all terrain, uh, just to be consistent with what we're talking about. Um, I'm going to jump into the BFG side and we will uh, click on an all-terrain BFG KO2, okay? So let's click on the KO2 and let's see what it says, okay? So it talks about, uh, you know, got some good ratings. When it comes to here, you got, you know, 4 out of 5, or 4.6 out of 5 stars. Um, product information. It's got some good stuff. I like the Baja Champion side. Uh, I mean, I raced for BFG for five years, so they are absolutely legit in the desert. But uh, at the end of the day, um, looking pretty good. Uh, it's got, uh, you know, three peak mountain snowflake, you know, so there's some bullet points here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what, what uh, Discount seems to offer um, on just kind of summarizing the tire information. On the right-hand side, you've got some, you know, load ranges and specific uh, uh, data there, um, but let's keep looking down here and see if there's any ratings. It says custom reviews, um, average customer ratings. So take a look at this and you tell me um, what you see because at the end of the day, this is very misleading in the fact that I see ride comfort, I see cornering and steering, ride noise, tread life, dry traction, wet traction. This is basically done by a customer. Well, the last time I checked, and maybe it's me, but it looks like a professional driver kind of evaluated this and rated it. But this is an average customer rating. So the customer, the customer themselves are rating ride comfort. They're rating cornering steering, ride noise. So I'm sorry, but I don't know if every customer knows how to pull this data like a test driver does. So it's not easy to pull for one. For two, you need to be in a controlled environment. You need to be on either a test track or somewhere where you can get consistent data, um, your tire pressures, your wear. I mean, there's so many variables that go into this that I have a hard time believing that these people that are rating this right here um, can rate it at the same level as the manufacturer, you know, that they're stating on their website, like the Yokohama, your Toyos, things like that. Those are professionally tested, evaluated information Consumer reports, professionally tested, evaluated information, and the tire rack, the same thing. Everybody's doing it at that level, but discount is throwing this into the mix, and um, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm really, really surprised. Would I use this to decide um, on what tire to buy? No, I wouldn't, because if you think your next door neighbor's gonna tell you um, about how a tire should perform, that should you know basically give you the answer. But I'm gonna show you one last thing, and here's why I left it for last, because I thought it was pretty darn good. Um, I'm gonna to go to, uh, let's go to Tire Rack. And the reason I'm going to Tire Rack is because uh, of what they have to offer. 
when it comes to data and you know what what's going on here. I have zero affiliation with Tire Rack. I've never even I don't think I've ever ordered one tire from Tire Rack. Um, I hear good things about them, but again, I have I have really no no connection with them um, whatsoever. But what uh, I did find was the um, research and advice. Let's check this part out. So I thought this was really cool. I do know that they have a test track. Um, and they do a really good job of, of evaluating product and obviously presenting that product. I'm gonna show you that right here. So we go to, to test results, right? And well, you can see there's their test track, you know, they got some cool video about all that stuff you can check out. Um, but uh, you know, let's go back up here. Uh, choose a brand, let's just, I don't know, I'm gonna go, let's just, I'm gonna stick with BFG because it's easy to remember. Okay, so testing on off-road all-terrain tires. Okay, back on the all-terrain, this is exactly what we're talking about to keep it consistent. What's going on here? So you can get into Tire Rack, and, and here's, this is a really good reference uh, uh, point for you guys in the fact that uh, it's just, it's easy to find and it, it, it's easy to see comparisons. Um, you can see the BFG, the Firestone, the Hankook, the Yokohama. They've got some cool information here. What I like about this also is how they've got, uh, you know, they've got pros and cons. They're not just giving you the pros. They're giving you some, some, some pros and cons in the fact that here's how it stacks up. You can see your graph over here. They show you what vehicle they used. They get into, um, you know, what they learned about the tire and, uh, you know, how the environment is on the track conditions, things like that. So they really get into a lot of detail. There's your summary there, but this is what I think is really cool is your charts. This is how it's super easy to see the differences. Um, this is how I would normally do my evaluation and breakdown um, for a client if they're looking to see differences. So they're giving you pretty much what, uh, um, what I would be doing um, and what most, uh, if not all test drivers uh, that do this type of work would do. But I like how they have right comfort, noise, handling. I mean, this is exactly the information that I'd want to see before I walked into a dealer to buy a tire. I mean, they get into lap times, they get into stopping wet and dry. I mean, this is this is great. You know, also you, can, you know, if you're into spider charts, um, some people like looking at uh, things differently. And there's your spider charts on the same type of information. Um, but uh, you know, what I think is cool too is these these videos they do. These videos, again, here's the BFG KO2, here's the Firestone, and they do little videos of their evaluation. So wrapping this up at the end of the day, I mean, look at how much kind of, I guess I'm gonna say buying power and the fact that it just gives you more knowledge when it comes to, you know, breaking down what, you know, what tire do I want? Oh, I want this tire. Well, why do you want that tire? Let's go ahead and see if it actually meets your expectations and it meets what you what you need out of the tire uh, before you go ahead and buy it and maybe compare it to other tires, maybe the cost, you know, the mileage, you start to break things down. I mean, obviously there's a lot of stuff on the internet that you can go ahead and see um, and check out. I'm not super, uh, I, I've been looking at different things, uh, especially the YouTube side. Um, a lot of people are just going, hey, check out this, these tires. These are the best five tires, you know, on the market, blah, blah and they never test the tire. They're just pointing at the tire and they go ahead, they basically just tell you, um, and they do a really good job in the fact they tell you, you know, the description of the compounds and the tread and all this other stuff, but that's just a piece of the puzzle. I mean, I can tell you, I don't put my head out the window and look at my tire when I'm testing. I, it's black and it's round, that's about it. Um, you know, everything comes, from, you know, all that information comes out of the steering wheel for me and uh you know and the ride and the handling and all that stuff that we, you know as a test driver you know what we look at but uh just something to keep in mind all right well hopefully you guys got something out of this video my goal was really to just show you kind of to zoom in and focus on you know what's really out there what are they what were these tire companies trying to show and share what do you really want to believe or what not to believe um, but at the end of the day, go ahead and leave me some comments because I'll answer those comments and try to clear things up for you, but hopefully you have a better buying experience.